Okay, here's a follow-up uh, video for Slider, and he made the comment that you could put a um, a window glass between the driver and the rotor to show that there was no wires that were connected to it, and uh, you know you could you could put that uh, on the outside of a window, the the driver or the rotor, and it would operate through the glass just fine. But it also operates through uh, anything that's not ferrous metal. And I just put a, a tablet between the two of them right there just to show that uh, uh, they're not connected uh, except magnetically. And when the electromagnet turns on, it pushes on the magnet that's on the rotor, and that makes the rotor turn. And uh, that's the, uh, the back spike off of the coil. And there's the AA battery that you could run this on. And like I say, this would run for many, many days. Um, uh, with just that AA battery, and it'd be a great science fair project. And I, I hope people aren't thinking that this is one of the fake videos that I've been working on. And this isn't a fake, it's not being blown by air or anything. Um, there's no driver under or anything like that. Um, but this is just a regular pulse motor. And the, um, like I say, you can make it uh, work through anything that's non ferrous. Um, and I've shown many videos of this magnetic uh, flux lines being able to go through non-ferrous materials. But yeah, Slider thought it'd be cool to have it on the other side of the glass or, or a window. And then uh, you could have a rotor on one side, driver on the other side. But yeah, um, anyway, that's kind of a cool little thing there. And uh, I've been doing so many of these fake replication videos. I hope people... Uh, don't think that uh, I'm starting to do fake videos. What I've been trying to do on those videos is show how they could have been done. And uh, my slant on uh, these projects is not to produce uh, fake videos unless I explain what's going on. And then uh, try to explain how possibly the fake videos are done. But this is, this is just a regular plain old pulse motor where the uh, electromagnet is energized in repulsion and pushes on the magnet that's on the rotor and uh, the uh, switch is a uh, magnetic reed switch. They use them in security systems and uh, door alarms and stuff like that and then um, my power source is a double A battery here and then uh, the LED is across the coil and when the reed switch opens up the magnetic field in the coil collapses and that sends out the back spike and this is how the jewel thieves work same thing. They're using the uh, collapsing field of the um, coil to light up the LED. Uh, it's a high voltage, low amperage deal. But anyway, yes, yeah, Slider, I liked your idea of uh, putting this on the other side of a window and uh, running it from uh, the back side of a window. You could put that in a, a glass case, and uh, once you got it running, of course. Uh, uh, the driver unit could be outside the glass case quite easily. Kind of cool. Thanks for watching.